now we will not we are not concerned much with electrovalent compounds over here what we are mainly concerned with is covalent compounds so as we have seen h2 is a covalent compound whose structure can be understood in a manner like this these crosses which represent electrons or let us see some other structure where there are two different atoms something like nh3 now in nh3 nitrogen has five electrons in its outermost shell its electronic configuration is 2 5 so it needs three more electrons now where will it get these three electrons from we have hydrogen three hydrogen it needs three electrons so each hydrogen will give one electron will not give electrons will share one electron with nitrogen i am representing these electrons of hydrogen with dots since they are electrons of a different element so this and this is shared this and this is shared and this and this is shared these two electrons remain unshared so you see if you count the total number of electrons of nitrogen it has five electrons of its own plus it has got one electron each from three hydrogens so that is three extra electrons so it's 5 plus 3 8 electrons so nitrogen has become a stable octet has got and hydrogen over here also gets one electron each from nitrogen not gets shares each hydrogen shares one electron each from nitrogen so it has two electrons so hydrogen is also happy you represent the structure of nh3 like h2 in a manner somewhat like this hydrogen has two electrons each hydrogen has two electrons and nitrogen has total eight electrons so these kind of structures where the electrons the shared electrons are represented by crosses and dots they are called electron dot structures now electron dot structures are very important for our study so let us see some examples of electron dot structures let us start with we have already learnt about h2 and 
NH3. So, let us take a structure of oxygen. In O2 molecule, we have two oxygen atoms and oxygen has an electric co electronic configuration of 2, 8, sorry, 2, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Both the oxygen atoms have 6 electrons in their outermost orbit. Now, since they are of the same uh, type of atom, I have represented both the electrons, both the atoms, uh, the electrons of both the atoms by crosses. If there is a different element such as N and H, you have to represent one by crosses and one by dots. Now, oxygen wants to become 2, 8. So, we need another 2 electrons to complete these oct this octet. So, if it shares one electron with this oxygen, it still has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Still not complete. So, it has to share another electron with this. And hence, when two electrons are shared by each element that is total sharing is of four electrons we call it a double bond this is the electron dot structure so here this oxygen has a total of 8 electrons and this oxygen ha also has a total of 8 electrons. So, both are stable. So, in hydrogen, there was sharing of only one electron. So, a total of 2 electrons were shared. So, this was single bond. 